What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Masters Chaos Draft, which is pretty sweet. All of the Masters sets are present. We got uh, Vintage Masters, Modern Masters, Iconic Masters, 25th Anniversary Masters, all kinds of Masters. All the Masters you can eat. Masters of the Universe. It's all true. Well, I thought this would get the eighth player sooner than it has, so that's awkward. But, uh, just under. Wonder what's going on here. All right, well we popped off. Oh, oh, that's exciting and probably more of temptation than I can personally resist. If grasp or seal or either toe comes back, I'd be okay with it. Sorry, you guys know I can't, I can't with, I can't. There's always a greater power. <clears throat> um. Oh, wow, we get to follow it up with a Blighting, also a Mystic Snake. Skeleton Eyes, also really good. Wow, this pack is, this pack is also fantastic. Red Elemental Blast is probably also pretty decent. I'm going to take Blightning here. I will. I definitely regret not taking Krolos Man. We just need to find that fixing. We need to get that, that sweet Grixis Fixus. <clears throat> Lotus Bloom. For some reason, I thought that was Black Lotus, and I was like, oh my god. Glacial Ray dealing two is fine. Basic land cycling is actually pretty decent here. Two Thirst for Knowledge. It's gotta be a Thirst for Knowledge, right? Thirst for Knowledge is great. Two Thirst in the same pack is pretty hilarious. Yeah, we're just taking Thirst. Thirst has gotta be better than Visions here. Notice I didn't take the Foil one. Oh wow, a second skeleton eyes? Oh my god, that's great. Um, when there are five or more, sacrifice it if you do destroy two creatures. I don't really feel like spending 12 mana to do this, unfortunately. Yeah, we're definitely just taking skeleton eyes. This card's very good. It's a three three damage instant for five that makes a one one. Dismal Backwater? Yeah. You know, I would be in for a Dismal Backwater. It's actually great. Beautiful. I actually don't hate Coligon Monument here. It's two of our colors. Actually, Dissolve is good too, though. So is Phantom Monster. I mean, it's two of our colors. Black and red. I don't like that it's three. Skeletons don't have eyes? Prove it. I'm going to take Phantom Monster. It's our first creature, and we do want creatures for Cruel Ultimatum, so. Flight of Fancy I really like. I wonder if we're a Rise from the Tides deck. 
Like, we already have four... Yeah, we're taking Rise from the Tides. Ooh, this is exciting. Tribal Flames. In a perfect world, this deals three in our deck. Considering we hope to have more lands like this, I don't think it's going to do that. Pirate Spellbomb's fine. I actually like Traumatic Visions here because it fixes our mana. And it's just a counter spell towards the later end. Also, unlike Pirate Spellbomb, this does count for Rise from the Tides. So, Skeleton Eyes, they're watching you. They see your every move. Bye bye. They're watching you watch it. That's really weird because how do they watch you with no with no eyes? Tell Mutual his company is being needy and I don't upgrade his S3 servers for just anyone. Is that true? I'm gonna copy that and show it to him. And see oh, Inquisition came back. Shimmering Grotto, some of you guys are going to be like, it fixes your mana. It's not the kind of fix that we're looking for. I think Inquisition's probably just fine here. Oh, I kind of like Red Elemental Blast coming back. I also kind of like Pyroclasm. I think Pyroclasm is probably going to be better for us than Reb, but I like that they're both in there. Oh, second Traumatic Visions. If this went to the graveyard, it'd be one thing. Because it would put a creature in there for this. It would fuel Rise, rise from the Tides. I just don't think I want a second Traumatic Visions. I will take Deadly Designs now, I guess. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... That's hilarious. I'm going to send that to him. God, the, the streams are crossing here. Strip mine. Oof. Brutal. Flowstone Hellion. Eh. War Chief. Eh. I think we're just taking Mana War. I was just trying to make sure there's nothing else that I cared about more than Mana War. It does not look like there is. I kind of like a Demir Guild Gauge. I all Guild Gauge. I kind of also like Think Twice here with this deck. This is definitely a uh, an instant or sorcery deck. Although if we flash back Think Twice. It leaves forever, but maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that yet. I think we are taking the Guild Mage. I think it's probably a little better for us right here. We already have Thirst. Um, I want to have guys, and, and the 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 flexibility of this guy is pretty good. I do kind of like Shoreline Ranger. Don't want Bolduvian Horde. How many Relentless Rats do you guys think we can get? I don't care about Hell's Caretaker. I like Herbus Protector a lot, but it's double white. I'm just going to take the Ranger here. Again, it Island Cycles. Fixes our mana. Agony Warp. Arid Mesa, unfortunately, probably not going to do anything for us. I'll just take Agony Warp. Some pretty solid removal. Is like, it's itching. It's not I'm not picking it. I promise. I'm, just not, I'm not pulling boogers out of it. I'm just trying to get the. I think our deck looks pretty sweet so far. 
Plus pyroclasm. I think we do need some more fixing here, but... You ever get motivated to do something difficult only to find it be more difficult than you thought? My body hurts. Um, sometimes I get motivated to do something difficult and then I realize it's actually easier. I was like, wow, this was nowhere near worth putting off for as long as I did. I think that's more common. But I've also had the motivation to the, the difficulty thing too. I think there was something I did recently where I was putting something together and I was like, I think it was this desk actually. When I put this desk together, I was like, oh, it's easy. I'll just put the legs on. But then I had to like sand it, finish it, drill the holes in it, flip it upside down, install the legs, get it back inside. It was a whole to do. Um, so to answer your question, yes. Yes, I, I do know. I kind of like Krovican Sorcerer here. That's fine. Yeah, I doubt I doubt Mutual's gonna say anything. Oh, is it Boiler Works? Wow. This could not be more perfect. Oh my god, on color bounce land? Wow. Oh, Dark Hatchling. Oh, disturb a non-black creature and get a 3-3 flyer out of it? That's a deal. Um, I actually don't hate Sickle Ripper. It's just a 2-1 for 2. Gut Shot's cute. On brand for me. Sign in Blood? I'm going to take the Ripper. I do want to make sure we have, like, some bodies on the board. Eh, Flowstone Hellion's fine. Thank you! Frogler, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, Alpha Wolf. I'm pretty sure Frogler has been a, a subscriber before. Alpha Wolf, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. That was a that was a solid gifted sub to not get you in trouble. That was a good uh Add a black for each creature card in your graveyard. I'll take turn to mist, actually. Exile a creature, return to the battlefield. Like, blinking dark hatchling is pretty good. Blinking mana war was fine. It's definitely an option. Um, 3-3 three, three for 2. 3-2-2 two, three, two, two for 3, rather. I'll take the death's head buzzard. I don't think we're playing it, but... Uh, take slime molding. I mean, I definitely, I think both Pyroclasm and Peer Through Depths are main deck options for us. If we need them. Private eyes. Um, I'll take Cyan of Moon. It's still a 4-4 four, four flyer. I mean, is a Boilerworks and Dismal Backwater are pretty nice. If I can find an on-color signal, it'd be like over the moon. Or another on-color bounce land. Vampiric Tutor is pretty interesting. Is it stronger than Repel? So the thing is, like, in a regular draft, not a cube draft, I feel like Repel is stronger because it gives you a really good sizable tempo and board advantage. Which is what you're looking for in like a regular a regular draft that's that's of a medium power level. Vampiric Tutor is great in like Vintage Cube because you're finding your combo pieces. I can go find my Tinker. I can go find my Mana Drain. But like in a regular draft, I think Repel is probably a little better. Tutor allows you to go get the land you need. That's true. I'm gonna get this repel. I, I just I, I do think it's just I think it's just a better card. Oh man, victimize. Choose two target creature cards in your graveyard, sacrifice creature to return them back. Um I think we're taking Dismal Backwater. I still think Dismal Backwater is better. 
Are you not about to take? Yeah, I, I, I did not take tutor. I, I, I don't think it has a strong of an effect. Like I just literally explained my logic. <laughs> annihilate is great. Oh man, I'm definitely definitely taking this annihilate here. Unless something better shows up in this pack, it did not. Annihilate it is. Mitch, this is my third draft. I did two drafts last night. They were both Sultai, to be fair. I really want a Signet here, but I don't see it. Electrolyze seems fantastic. I'm just gonna take Electrolyze. I had to respond to something real quick, so I didn't I didn't get as excited as Electrolyze as I could have. Bladewing the Risen. You may return a dragon from your graveyard to the battlefield. I don't think I have any dragons currently. Is a 4-4 flyer by itself worth it? Also, I kind of really like Illusory Ambusher. I think this card is really cool. Um maybe it's cool enough to put in my cube. I wonder. I don't think we want another six drop. I think I do. I kind of just like this guy. I also don't even mind Balagate Scorpion just killing a, a cheap creature. I think we're going to take the Scorpion here. I think it just fits our curve a little nicer than the other guy. Oh, I like Dire Fleet Hoarder a lot. This guy's great. Again, it... it it fits our curve. It's a nice solid two drop, and it also makes a treasure token, which is pretty nice in this deck, in case you guys didn't know. God, I was really hoping for one Signet. It's not looking good now. Both of these are great. I'm a big Urban Evolution fan, and I think Girl War Chan is bananas in the in the deck that in the right decks. Um I don't know if we're a bone splinters deck. We really don't have that many creatures. I think I'd rather have Spell Pierce. Sift is very, very nice. Wow, that's a really nice pickup. Ophidian came back? Wow. Um, Wildfire Emissary is actually pretty decent here. Sack two creatures, create a 3-1... A wait, that's that's not good at all. Yeah, I'll take Wildfire Emissary, actually. I think it's probably better than Balagan Scorpion just by itself. What up, Midnight Meat? So we need like two cuts at this point. I, I think we can cut Sorcerer. I don't think it's as good as Ophidian. Wow, Bone Splinters came back? I don't know if it's, I don't think that's the same one, but it's still Bone Splinters. I can also see cutting deadly designs. But maybe it's really good. It's it's just a nice mana sink. Maybe Flowstone Hellion. I'm not super sold on Flowstone Hellion. I don't think we're a Flowstone Hellion. <gasps> Bladewing the Risen came back? I mean, I wish I had another dragon, unfortunately. Gorkland Rampager, sure. Alright. I do wish we got one more piece of fixing, whether it was a signet or a land, but I think our deck still looks pretty strong. I might even play 18 lands with Cut the Balagate Scorpion, but mm, I don't think we need it. Like, 17 lands with one boiler works is actually just fine. Yeah, we have Pyroclasm to board in. don't have any other dragons, right? I'm not, like, going crazy. No. Seems fine. Could cut Inquisition for... No, Inquisition's just good, I think. It gets rid of, like, counter spells. It gets rid of creatures. 
We're definitely light on red, and the only thing that takes double red is the, the Cruel Ultimatum. This is five, and then one, two, seven, and eight. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. So this is eight, seven, five. I actually do think I want one more black. So four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, four, five. Yeah, I think that's fine. I want the other black because I think having three out of eight black is a lot better than having three out of seven black. Plus, almost all of our two drops are black, and uh, just want to make sure we have a black on turn two. And we only have one double blue card here. And this is also, uh, we also have a Shoreline Ranger to get an island, and Traumatic Visions to get any land, which is nice. But we do have double black, double black, triple black, and only double blue, double blue, so that's my, that's my assessment. I'm loving it. Our deck seems good. Oh, I like this hand a lot. Okay. Dire Fleet into Blightning. My friend, new friend in the half ass merch shop. It's Fabloop. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is. I feel like you're really bordered on copyright infringement here. How come it, how come it doesn't say Fabloop anywhere? How do I know that it's Fabloop? <laughs> oh my god. You're just cycling this? Sure. That's hilarious. Uh, Modern Horizons is not included because it is not it's not a master set. Everyone keeps asking that. I don't know why. It's not a master set. Master sets are entirely reprints. Mas every master set is a is a reprint set. It is made of, of previous cards that have been reprinted. Modern Horizons is not a reprint set. It had it had some reprints in it, but it's mostly new cards. Or or rather, it had a lot of new cards, I should say. Just a little semantic clarification there for you guys. Wait, what just happened? He hit a repeal. How did these get in the graveyard? What am I missing? Oh, they discarded with lightning. I was like, I, oh my god, how did I just like completely miss the exact thing that had the literal card I played? They discard Ancient Craving and Tribal Flames. Oh, they missed a land drop. I was like, how did the Expunge get in there? My god. Get your life together. We're gonna thirst here. Unfortunately, it's not as good as Compulsive Research, but... I want to keep these. I think we're just dipping two black here. All we have to do is find one more black, and we have... Oh, actually, if this guy just dies, we get another black. So that's kind of interesting. I kind of assume that any outside, any set outside of standard... No, it's literally specifically master sets. Like, that is the specification here. They're still not hitting lands. That's pretty wild. Okay. Okay. Well. I don't think we need to play Annihilate here. I don't think we're really close to that. It's 
So one, two, three, four, five. Actually, if we block, we can play Cruel Tomatoes next turn. <laughs> and then we'll have this guy to get back. That's not bad. Oh, just that guy, huh? Okay. Hmm. I kind of feel like we're really far ahead, so I can just do this. Just to start getting in damage when they're in 15. I don't even think cool ultimatum here is that great. They just sack their 1-1, and we draw a bunch of cards that we can't even keep in our hand. Well, that is unfortunate. If they take Annihilate, I'll, I'll Dark Hatchling. And they're just going to take Cruel anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That is a sad thing to see. Fascinating. I don't think I care about this, really. Here's this, perfect times for when you go to the bathroom at night and you're asleep and you see a hulking object next to you and have a small cardiac episode. <laughs> oh man, a full bloop shower curtain? Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just gonna take four here. We can go 13. Repeal. You can get caught between the moon and New York City. That's my don't be another swamp. Seems good. I mean, we didn't get to get a creature back from the graveyard, so. Skeleton eye? Like, double chain lightning skeleton eyes is what they got rid of there? That's pretty wild. Are they going to do this during our draw step? Because that's pretty good. Then we get to electrolyze it. I'm really glad you did that. <laughs> Let me keep the Electrolyze. That was very nice of you. No matter what they take, we can play two things this turn, which is pretty sweet. What's my favorite cheese? It's probably mozzarella, actually. Mozzarella is just a solid cheese. I'm going to bring in Spell Pierce here, and I'm going to take out um, Deadly Designs. They monocolored. This is a deck where I wish I took the red elemental blast. Can you imagine? I'm going to show this shower curtain to Rob.
I'm gonna say either Havari or Knuckle Lost. I don't, I don't know what these weird cheeses you guys are talking about are. Oh yeah, keep that hand for sure. We can put Repel back. Sensei's Divining Top. What an obnoxious card in the limited. I also like that we got two Dismal Backwaters and no Guild Gates. That makes me feel good. Man, this, this old... This old chestnut again. And they whiffed? Love it. I love to watch you whiff. We're gonna just keep up Shoreline Rangers so we can get another blue. Starfleet Hoarder doesn't do much against an Augur of Volus. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that guy. Also, having this uh, Island Cycler is nice for a Cruel Ultimatum. winmore.com thank you for the resub buddy welcome back half a year how the time flies I don't really want you to like bounce this guy alternatively you can just play dire fleet hoarder take a hit and next turn agony warp with spell pierce up let's do that That's what you can do. Oh, they're just going to swamp cycle. Ugh, God. It's just auto yield. I don't even care, man. Just top, don't top. I don't. Your prerogative, bro. What kind of cheese goes into the gabagool? <laughs> Oh my god. I feel like I should be offended at all your Gabagool references, but you know what? I just let him be. I mean, Gabagool is Capicola, yes, but due to Italian dialect. Oh wow, this is great. This worked out really well. You're gonna return my land to my hand? That's rude AF. Oh, now I just get to play a phantom monster? Seems good. <laughs> I'll save the Gorlami for your mommy. Stop what you're doing. Important news. Warner Brothers unveiled a Mortal Kombat 2021 movie that is getting an R rating. I feel like Mortal Kombat in, in live action has broken my heart too many times. I also feel like the characters and storyline of Mortal Kombat has gotten a lot, a real, way too convoluted for me to, to truly appreciate. I'll, I'll still be into it. I'll probably still see it, but... It's a real fool me one situation. Mallrats 2, see that gets my gears going because Mallrats and Clerks were movies that I really, wow, they're just topping all over the place. I'm just going to skeletonize this guy. Make my gentleman. What did they... They drew They drew with top, but then they didn't do anything with it? 
Did they draw the top so they can play a land? I guess. Surreal memory getting back rescind? Sure. Boy, if only I cared about that. Oh, wow, that's really insanely good. <laughs> Way to go, Scorpion! Get over here! Are they going to rescind? Oh, that's too bad they got my 1-1 one, one for 3 mana. That doesn't seem ideal. And they get the rescind again. That's actually better than Chain Lightning because I could just recast either one of these guys. Oh my god. They're also at 7 here, and we have Electrolyze, so they're Virtual 5. This is actually not bad for us. I would like a second Black Source. Oh, is it, if, it's, if it isn't Michael B. Oh, 49? Nice. Nice. Is it Charm? Draw 2, then discard 2. You got it. So they discarded Ancient Craving and Agony Warp, and they're playing Ophidian. I mean, I'm just going to Agony Warp the Ophidian. Draw a card, then... What? Well, I don't know why they keep doing that. <laughs> it's very weird. Did they know that was on top? Man, I wish I just waited. I could have had a mana war. I'm just going to pass here. How much canon deviation is too much in a, in, a, in a comic book or pop culture movie? I think... I don't think you want too much. Like, the point of... Like, otherwise you're just telling a different story. Oh yeah, they digging. Venom, Venom was too much for me as well. I'm like, once you remove Spider-Man from the the whole Venom mythos, the character doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm just like, oh, so it's a big black symbiote that has a spider on his chest reminiscent of spider-man's costume but he's never been influenced by spider-man checks out do they still have rescind in hand oh they do but they gotta deal with two guys and rescind cost three so oh he didn't have the spider on his chest that's interesting that's a good point are you sure i don't think he you know, when you say it, I don't think he did either, but for some reason it feels like he did. Does that make sense? I think it's going to be a swamp. I think we're due for it, so the magic's going to be like, here's another, here's another swamp you were looking for. I think they're going to rescind one of these guys and we're going to electrolyze their face in response. I'm not going to slow roll you if you're... Our deck seems sweet. Okay, right. Okay, so let's talk... You're right. Okay, let's say he didn't have the um, the spider on his on his chest, right? Which I, I, I agree with you, and I, I think that is correct. Um, that makes me like it even worse, because then I'm like... 
that's literally so integral to the Venom character. It's like if you had a Captain America movie, but he didn't have like, if his costume was like green and red instead of blue and red. And you're just like, wait, I don't get it. You took the entire background and backstory of Captain America and you removed it. I don't understand. I like this deck. Can I see it better? I missed the draft. No, I don't think so, man. I'm sorry. But also, yes. Screenshot them if you got them. That's what I always say. Yeah, or if he didn't have his shit. Like, it's just so... It's just really funny things where you're like... Okay, but why would you remove that? Why, like, why remove this? Yeah, okay, I'll keep this hand. Oh, we're on the draw. Damn it, I hate being on the draw with stupid bounce lands. These bounce lands are wonderful, I'm sorry. Actually, if I draw, like, a way to play... Oh, man, Black Source would have been great, because then we can actually play Causal Inquisition. Turn 2 is a boiler works. Can you money. imagine? That would be great. One cruel buck. Guys, we got to hit this November rent. It's getting... It's getting embarrassing. If we hit a land next turn, we get to play three drop, then follow it up with like mana war. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. This doesn't inherently do anything for us now that it I guess next turn it lets us play a three drop. I mean I got my fingers crossed. Tuck tuck. I think it's the tension between the deviation from canon and making the story work and moving from that makes the breaks the comic. I mean that, I'm gonna be honest, that's what I love about the MCU is that like it's just very Um canon like it's 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 very loyal to the canon you know what i mean like i think getting rid of inquisition is probably better than dark hatchling i don't love it but oh oh boy that's that's something i mean i do like being able to electrolyze both these guys and then mana warring the tuck to the does the counter does this guy get haste? No. Swamp? You're gonna be a swamp, aren't you? Well. You can't win them all. But you can win some of them. And sometimes that's good enough. So we're just really hoping for no counter spell. For fuck's sake, really? You got a mana leak? Man, fuck out of here. I mean, I probably should have done it on my turn, but like... Then we get attacked with the 5-5, five five and I just kind of wanted to avoid that. But I guess I would have rather taken two more damage, so... It's really been fucking infuriating. This is where they go tap one guy, tap another guy. Attack for three, draw two more cards. Yeah, they've drawn five cards off of this stupid combination. It's really bad. Well, they didn't tap one of my guys that turn, so that's pretty okay. Oh, it's because they were just going to burst lightning one and then tap the other. That checks out. Oh, they're just going to bounce the other one. Yeah, that works. That works. Mm, boy it's so funny you can pinpoint the exact moment where you lost the fucking game and it's when we didn't electrolyze on our turn because you know the odds of them having a counter spell doesn't seem astronomically high but I guess it is so so you have six mana good gravy Oh, 
on the Constantine subject, I like Keanu Reeves' Constantine when I hadn't read Hellblazer yet. Now that I have, I still like Keanu as an actor, but that movie was no good. This The uh, CW work on the character is way better. Sadly, they just continue the show. Um, the funny thing is, I think the, the, the CW actor was a significantly better Constantine. It just looked more like, and looked and felt more like Constantine, whereas, like, Keanu Reeves just didn't. It's actually pretty good. I really don't want to bounce any of those guys, but they can tap both of my things. Tap both of my things. And check in it twice. Go find out who's not it. Oh, no. Tap a creature. One, two, three, four, five. They're going to try to deal seven, I think. Oh. Cool. Oh, well, we're definitely bringing in Pyroclasm here. It's gotta be Tuk Tuk, right? Yeah, of course it's Tuk Tuk. Uh, negative three, kill this guy. Let's see if that does what we want it to do. Nope, of course not. Just fucking mono counter spells and removal dot deck over here. Well, maybe they don't find anything, I guess. Santa Claus. Did you ever watch Legion? No. Um, I watched like the first few episodes of Legion, but I just it didn't grip me enough. I was like, eh. They only have two cards. They've been going through a lot of cards here. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm so sorry that you're so... I mean, like, there's no... Look, if you're going to make a comic book show or a comic book movie, and it's just, like, loosely connected to, like, this, like, tertiary character that's not... I, I just... I don't know. Like... I think as a show, it was probably fine. But, like, when I watched it, I was looking for, like, a comic book show that reminded me of the X-Men and, like, Charles Xavier and things like that. And I just don't think that was really what I got, necessarily. But that that being said, I don't think it was a bad show. This is amazing. Like, their whole, their whole deck is just removal. This is just fantastic. I guess we're going to one here. Wow. So we could kill this, they get a guy back can't kill anything else they tap this even if we play two things boy pyroclasm would be real good here let's bring pyroclasm in i also like spell pierce a lot um Rise might be for might be too slow actually. Let's keep it like this. Just making a list. Uh, we'll keep because Shoreline Ranger gives us a blue if we need it, which we likely might. I think the only creature we want to bounce was their Mana War. I think everything else was fine to bounce.
I do want to play Ophidian next turn, so we're going to keep up Shoreline Ranger. Plus, it lets us go Ophidian into Phantom Monster or Balagid. Scorpion. Big Scorps. I mean, I assume, like, they haven't played a creature, so I'm pretty sure they have Mana Lake here. But, oh, they did not. Well, you can't kindle this guy. You can't burst lightning this guy, so that's pretty fascinating. You can bounce it. Good jobby. Can you name a comic book movie or TV show that really deviated from the canon that was good? I'm having a hard time thinking of one. Did you see Dark German? I don't think I saw. It. No, I don't. Even, I don't think I've even heard of Dark. Um. Deviated from the canon. I kind of just want to crack this to get another land. Then we have three, so we can just drop a Fidian. Yeah, that seems good. It also keeps Annihilate up for us. Yeah, that's fine. Two, two for three. That don't impress me much. Uh, 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 I got a two, two for three, but it got the ten. Seems good. Mm, boy, you got it. Can't actually kill that guy either. Deadly designs. Walking Dead, I do, I do hear deviated from the comics quite a bit, but I actually didn't read all of the Walking Dead comics, so I actually have no idea. Like, I just enjoy Walking Dead for what it is. Thank you. So I'm not like too hung up on the the deviation. Smug through time. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's good. Well, that's very good. We're just going to keep Phantom Monster back. I don't think dealing three to take six is really where we want to be. I assume they have another removal spell because their deck is just entirely removal. Oh, you're just going to play a Shoreline Ranger. Interesting. They have no good attacks here. So, this is actually pretty decent. So I think we're killing these two and then we're just playing Balagid Scorpion to get rid of the other one. Mana League is your last card? Oh, Jesus. 
this. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Nope. Well, that's still fine. We can play about one, two, three, four. We still have four mana left over. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing that for sure. Let's pass. I don't think this is a fine trade. Grohl tomato would be nice. I, I imagine they drew Silent Departure. Oh, just Lightning Bolt. Seems good. Coldman? Mm, okay, that's fantastic. I mean, if they have a removal spell, or if they have an instant they get to kill our guy, they did not. Wow, that was great. Well-timed Pyroclasm. Tuck Tuck. Really, you're attacking. That is what's known as a bold strategy. I mean, I really don't want to give them a 5-5 with our Dark Hatchling, so... Do you watch anime? Just discovered Doro Hidoro. I do not watch anime, really. I don't really have an issue with it. It's just not my... I, I don't know. I just can't... It's, I have a harder time getting into it. With a little tuck and some tenderness. One, two, three, four, five, six... Put your shitty artifact right on in the trash. Oh, think twice. Don't think twice. All right, they're just going to five here. One tucky boy. <laughs> One tucky boy in the trash can. Yep, you do it. You draw them cards. Good lord. Hmm. Fascinating. Two cards, huh? It's a lot of lands we got here. Tap down my little hatchy. Scorpions and horrors. That's how we do. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. I imagine you get Shoreline Ranger. Eh, hey, you're getting Glenelyn or Archmage, right? You can also just get Tuk Tuk because there's a high upside for Tuk Tuk. Dream Spoiler Witches. Interesting. Well, we're definitely just going to attack into your guys and try to two-for-one you with an Agony Warp. Mm-hmm. Oh, what up, Dalkery? Long time no see, my dude. Magic Maker Studios. Marker Studios. Real good seeing you again, my dude.
Oh, they're just taking it. I am fascinated. And we're going to make sure we Agony Warp before the end of their turn if they don't play anything else because I don't really want them to have a uh, an instant and, you know, affect our turn with it. Sure, Dream Spoiler Witches, you got it. I'm lurking since I'm always working. Lurking since I'm working. Okay, we just win that game. Sift. Oh, Sift into Cruel. Alright, well, we're doing it. We're not doing terribly. Ten creatures. How's their mana base look? It's all just basics, right? I feel like our deck is good. Yeah, alright, you know what? Deadly Design was pretty good there. Yeah, I'll keep this. This gets us a third land. We got Guild Mage to be popping off here. A third natural land would be nice. We could start just, we just popping Ophidian, but... Are we asking for too much? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we're in good shape when they're when they're when their three color deck is opening on solely islands. Come on, land! You stupid piece of crap deck. I hate you. I hate you. Let's get a red. We'll just play red. Just get in there for two. I mean, if we hit another land, we can just wildfire emissary, or we could or we could just play. Wow, four islands. That seems terrible. And they still have a lot of spells they can play with that, but Jesus, that's a bummer. Don't mana leak me. Wow, it resolved. If they had a mana where they would play the last turn, right? Oh, see, now they get the, the lightning bolt mana for the Ophidian. Oh, they just full, full mana burst lightning us. Just give me a land. Come on, dude. Seriously? <sighs> That's ridiculous. Missed two land drops. Like, they, at least they haven't missed any friggin' land drops. Look at this. Look at this idiot. Land. Put it on top. Cool. Super cool. I'm having a good time. Oh my god, really? You're gonna give me one land in this? Oh my god. I think this is too slow. Like, we're gonna try to repel that guy next turn. Is there a way to report players in MTG? Yeah, there's gotta be a way to do that. Let's get rid of Scorpion and... It's probably Deadly Designs. It just seems a little too slow. Yikes. Jesus. Well, this is a big one. Okay, well, we are... We're hitting here. Old man Grimace got himself a axe. Oh boy. Do I just repel it next turn or on this turn? These are the questions.
One, two, three, four, five. Like, if we hit land, land, we're actually alive. And we have Sif to try and do that. <sighs> okay. Okay. I believe. I mean, as long as they don't have a burn spell, I guess we're, we're, we're alive, but... <sighs> Here comes Lightning Bolt. Yep, turn before we get to Kroll's mana and we're just dead. Or not. Well, they had a chance to... They had one draw step to hit... Oh my god, Cruel Ultimatum for the win! <sighs> I mean, if they had one draw step to hit Mana Leak, because we put this guy on top. They didn't have a Mana Leak when we put this guy on top, and one of the two draw steps they had was this guy. So they had one draw. <sighs> wow. <sighs> That's amazing. That was butt clenching. Whew, my God. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. That's a sneeper. Whew, okay. Don't you have to answer the sphincter's riddle or something? You know, I don't think so. I'm just gonna play a guild mage here. I think it's just a better use of mana. They're like, let me attack first before I play anything, because then, you know, maybe they'll trade. We're not trading. Tim, I remember seeing that, that mana drain you posted on, on YouTube. Or on Twitter, rather. On YouTube. <laughs> that was wild. Whenever an opponent gains life. Buddy, I'm not gaining any life. I'll trade for Kavu. Actually, maybe I won't trade for Kavu Predator. This guy's in kind of an engine if they don't have anything good here, right? Uh, 
Yep, you got it. Thankfully, we played our Dismal Backwater early so that Kavu Predator didn't get bigger. Interesting. Better crack that map now, boah! Unless you don't want this guy again. Yep. They do want this guy again. That's kind of funny. They're like, you know what? This Kavu Predator, this two mana 2-2... Two -two, it's where I want to be. Oh, yeah. Ooh, dark hatchy. A little old hatchy. If we draw a four drop, ooh, like a Balagad Scorpion, we can kill this guy and keep up an Inquisition. I'm game. Okay. I mean, it's still a four drop that I care about. We know they have Swamp. Satania Woodreaders is going to draw you two cards, and Antigua Shaman might draw you one. Grizzly Spectacle, pretty good too. <coughs> Demir Guildmage, also pretty good here once we start hitting some, some big manas. They killed the Demir Guild Mage and we milled Swamp and Sift. Get on in there, do your job. Don't trade. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a trade, right? Seems good. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're one away from Cruel Ultimatum, whether it's a blue or a black. And we're also Cruel Ultimatum. Yeah, this is Kevlar card. Sigh of the Shinobi. Whenever. Yeah, that's fine. So did you play one of these swamps? Hmm. Now we can just keep up traumatic visions. Yeah, I feel like this is a stalemate, but our hand is very, very good, so... Uh, 
And Tuco Shaman has been suspended. I don't assume you have a swamp in hand. seven mana so we can pump this guy once and still keep up dramatic sure sounds good i'm not gonna blightning when they have one card in hand they're gonna draw two next turn and i assume they can only play one of them so we can probably blightning next turn to i guess they can go land spell What's this thing cost to equip? Two? Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna counter this guy. He's pretty obnoxious. Plus we can't kill it with Dark Hatchling, so... Oh, what up, David? No attack, my dude. All right. Oh, boiler works. I mean, I don't see a point where they're going to have two cards that they're not going to play, so... Forest. Sure. I mean, we're in kind of a stalemate, but I still think we're in better position with Dark Hatchling compared to their no cards. Two, three, four, five, six, sure. Deadly design seems real good here. They're like, nature's claim. Okay, they're going to eight. They're basically dead. I mean, I actually wonder if we could have just won with Dark Hatchling, but we're kind of playing it safe. Like, if they have a removal spell, it's not great to... Or if they play, like, a 6-6 six, six or something. I don't know. What does this card do? Uh, it's an enchantment. For two mana, you can put a plot counter on it. Uh, when there are five or more plot counters, you can sacrifice it. If you do, destroy up to two creatures. Any player can activate this ability, though. So you don't want to play it when there's no creatures on the board. Otherwise, they can just invest mana in it and make it go off before it's time. But it is up to two creatures. So if you're, you're the only one who has creatures on the board, it can't really backfire too terribly. It's mostly a commander card, so other people can help you kill the creatures that you want to kill. What did they call electric eels before electricity was invented? Christopher, obviously they didn't exist before then. <laughs> yes, you have to sacrifice. That'd be insane if it just sat on board and you could just keep pumping it every turn. Yeah, this is a strong turn. <laughs> 
And we still get to keep up Electrolyze. Sure. Yes, sir. Oh, Battle Good Scorpion. That could be good. Alright. Should have pumped once there. We're playing very conservatively, but I also don't feel like we're in a position to lose. He said confidently before they played Sphinx of the Guild Pact. It's surprisingly pretty good here. I cannot kill that with Dark Hatchling. Because it is mono-colored. I can't kill it with Emissary because it is mono-colored. So now we're just kind of digging for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> uh, instead of like, I mean, I'm just going to play Swamp here so we don't have to like waste the treasure. Wow, that was really good. <laughs> that's exactly why we're playing it. Okie dokie, that's game. <laughs> <laughs> what do we get back here? Demir? Yeah, that's good. Uh, Demir Guild Mage. Wow, our hand is just gas. Okay, well, that was a game. That was a game. Yeah, David, I figured I'd just do. I figured I'd just do your deck donation here instead. Just figured I'd make it easier for you, for me, for everybody. Uh, Pyroclasm again seems good. Easy peasy. <laughs> we have not yet risen, rise, risen from the tides. <sighs> I'm just going to play it like this. I don't even care about taking a card out. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I'll keep this one, though. Okay. Well, this is basic land cycling. But I still think we're good with both of these one drops. And plus, I don't want to get rid of Ophidian or Sift. I think they're both really good. So, And I, I, I feel like our odds of drawing a blue source in the first three turns is decent. Oh my god, that reverse 41. This is the child of the night. Ooh, uh. Oh, yeah. We're going to play Dire Fleet first. I don't want to waste my Wither on this guy, and I'd rather go to Treasure on turn three so we can play Ophidian. Cruel Ultimatum is a hell of a card, guys. Um... Each player votes for death. If death, each opponent sacrifices a creature. If torture gets more votes, uh, I mean, obviously torture, I'll just take four. That card is not good. It's like Browbeat. There's no situation where I'm not taking six from Browbeat in order to prevent you from drawing three. It's basically like you cast the Lava Axe, and that's totally fine. This is actually pretty good. I kind of like sifting here. Because I don't like the odds of them not having... A creature to block a Fidian, but I do like just being able to hit lands. I think long term deadly design is better than mountain, because we can still play most everything in our hand. So I'm gonna get rid of mountain. Play island. Play island. It's turn three? Okay, so we play land. That seems fine. So we have two turns to draw another land, plus a thirst. I, I think that's more than reasonable. Three three slime molding. Let's draw mana war. <laughs> I'll be here all week, guys. I'll be here all week. 
Oh, God. It's still weird, right? It's still weird. I had a 1 in 29 chance of drawing the card I called. 1 in 29. That's less than... That's like 3%. Oh wow, this is also very good. Because we can go a Fidgeon. And then Boiler works. Bounce a Mountain. And now it's like we have so many lands. Plus no matter what they play next turn, we can Skeletonize it. Pfft, obviously. One in 29 is more than 3%. I mean... Barely, right? It would be 3 in... Three and nine. Okay, so it's like three point three 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 percent. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Sure. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that seems real nitpicky, but okay. I kind of just want to skeletonize this guy, or I kind of want to blightning. I don't think they can come back from blightning. The problem is I don't have two cards I want to discard for Thirst, and we have so many black cards, but we can't actually cast them. I don't think I care about this. I think this this has been one of my favorite cast drafts, because the packs are more um, curated. Like, they're all master sets, which are naturally very good. So, I've actually been enjoying it more. Then like, oh look, I got an invasion pack and I got like a bunch of domain cards in it that don't do anything. Or like, you know, the worst part was getting like Legion, Scourge, or Onslaught where they're all creatures that only work with other creatures. And you're just like, these all suck. What did I say? What did I say when it, when I was talking about percentages? Like, I forgot what my actual... Like, we do this, we're netting one card and discarding two, and I don't... I just don't have two cards I want to discard right now. One, two, three, four, five... Like, I think we just play Sickle Ripper and keep up... Skeletonize here. I think I did mention 3%. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> and we have 7 mana, so I mean, Thirst for Knowledge, let's just discard any lands that we hit. I'm just gonna block, and if they don't let me block, then I'm gonna skeletonize. This guy's interesting. So now I'm just gonna sack the one one. I think the one one regenerator is worse than the two one that can trade with predatory night stalker. So. What if he's like, nah, you don't have to sack a creature? I'd be like, well, oh, that's very nice of you. Easy peasy. Swamp. This guy. And just play out our hand here.
Really good hit. Really, really good hit for me to draw a fucking swamp afterwards. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's really, really good. Really good grizzly spectacle. On the the one creature that can like really get us back into this game. Plus an annihilate, plus a rise. I'm actually not sure how I'm this far behind right now, but sure. Deadly Designs actually seems rough now because they can just wow. Sift and Thirst are both in our both in our graveyard. That's pretty rough. Oh, maybe they don't know that they can use that ability. Definitely gonna get rid of that, even if it's just a one for one. Two, three, four. Or we can just draw Cruel Ultimatum. <laughs> Balagid Scorpion does not do it, unfortunately. I will still play it, but, you know. I might actually just block here. It gives them another turn. Or we can just take five. I'm just going to take five here. I don't feel like we need a Deadly Designs yet, and we also don't need a Balagid Scorpion block yet, so... Okay, wow, this is really good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13 lands. Four more lands on our deck. I got, I got a Bides of the Vast one over here. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Man, I was hoping it stuck around. I was like, do I just get to keep it if there's no creatures? No. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is not nearly as good. Wow, Rise from the Tides would have been what? How many? One, two, three, four, five. Five two twos? Annihilate also would have been good. Come on, just cruel me, cruel me one time. Cruel me, baby, one more time. I must. That, that thing kills us. <laughs> Amazing. I cannot believe we lost this game. I'm actually flabbergasted. Like, that's pretty wild to me. After the opening that we had, bounce your guy, bounce your slime molding guy, make you discard too, like... Mm. 
<laughs> um, I'll keep this. Mm, hold on one second, just disregarding all my notifications. They went to five, and we get to Inquisition. Come on, blue. Come on, blue mana on two. Blue on two. Child of Night, where they got Falconrath and three lands, sure. Falconrath dies to Pyroclasm, which is very, very nice. Magic's like, I don't want you to play Demir Guild Mage here because you're just going to Pyroclasm, so just don't do it yet. <sighs> I wonder if it's worth it because next turn we do get to start making them discard. It's gotta that's gotta be better. We don't necessarily even have to pyroclasm for one Falcon Wrath Noble, so. Okay. Sh Shy of the Shinobi. See, they could have just played Falcon Wrath and it wouldn't have actually. That's what they get rid of. That's fascinating. It's not an Imperious Sword. Wow. 5-5 five, five. Canker Abomination that I can't kill with a Dark Hatchling. <sighs> These draws, man. These draws. I'm just gonna make him discard a card here. Uh, spending two mana to put a shoreline rager into, or uh, to get an island and have three mana left over doesn't let us do anything this turn. That's friggin' amazing. I don't actually know how to kill that thing. Skeleton Eyes doesn't kill it. Annihilate doesn't kill it. Dark Hatchling doesn't kill it. I mean, I guess we can bounce it with man. We can bounce it with mana war. Or, or, like, repel. But otherwise, it's pretty bad. Hmm. And we have one, one thing in the graveyard for, for Rise of Tides. Wow, I can't believe we're gonna, like, literally lose a fucking... 2-0 streak with the with the to a to a to a to terrible draws in game two and canker sore canker sore abomination in game three hatching block plus pyro pyro is a sorcery so i don't know how that's gonna work and this is a three three plus two damage versus a six six that doesn't work in any capacity <laughs> I mean, top deck cruel isn't out for sure. We want to block now because if we go to three and they have an answer for our blocker, it's extremely bad. So we're just in chump mode right now, unfortunately. Come on, cruel. Fuck. Non black, non black. Good times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't even go pyro. I want to go pyroclasm just to get it out. And then rise. It's so bad. 
fucking hate black removal that can't kill black creatures. It's like the dumbest, stupid claws ever. Like... So dumb, dude. <sighs> yeah, what if Lightning Bolt was like, deal three damage to a non-red creature? You'd be like, what? Why? Well, we're two mana, we're two damage off, but like, what are you gonna do? I'm just trying to get spells in my graveyard in case one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in case we draw like something we can play next turn into Rise of the Tides. And then we get at least four creatures. <sighs> See if they got a pump spell. Strafe. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, at least we can annihilate that. Annihilate Mana War. Mana War one time. Dismal fucking backwater. Are you serious? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God, yes! Whew. Oh my God, we're living. That's living the dream. That is the dream. Next turn they play that guy, we play Rise, we have a blocker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have nine mana, so we can still draw three drop to block. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, now we're dead again. Because they put the Psy on this and they got four. Never mind. Oh, my bad my bad guys. I thought we were alive. I was super excited about our fucking miraculous victory. Okay. That's not dead. Plus, this makes Canker Abomination significantly worf. Worf? Worse? Okay, don't have an answer to Dire Fleet, I guess. That's literally what it comes down to. Don't have an answer for my black... I got a black creature. What are the odds you got an answer for my black creature? It's got to be zero, right? I'll block. Because I'm dead if I don't. Play a 1-1 one, one Canker Abomination. That would be great. Do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh man, this game is a butt clencher, dude. Remember that time they mulled a three? Mulled a five this game? Oh my god, they switched the... Oh my god, that's great! Oh my god, that's great. I'm also attacking with all of these. We can't block this guy, so we have a two-turn clock here, so... Like, we literally just have to... We have one draw step, so... So they take eight. They go to ten. And now we have ten power on board, so they have to play this. They have to play something other than Canker Abomination. Well, that guy's a one-one, so I guess they don't have to. Okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, we just need what we need a top deck here, otherwise we die. So Stinkweed Imp actually kills us. Fascinating. That guy has flash. Why would you play him right now? That's weird. Good games. <laughs> fucking nothing. Unbelievable, man. Unfucking real. Yep, cool. I wanted to go back to the game, but apparently that's not okay, cool. Can I not I can't go back to the game? Alright, cool. 
it, I guess it's just gone. It just doesn't exist. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and uh, I'll see you next time.